It's a Ford Transit 250, and it's a low roof and the shortest wheelbase. I'm Elizabeth, I'm from Central Alabama, and this is my first van meetup here in Deland, Florida, and I have enjoyed it very much. It's exciting, and you welcome, you find, you find your kindred spirits, because everybody's got that same feeling, because they're all here. So it's been so much fun. I feel like I've made friends and want to travel with them and everything, but I just want to show you my van. I was an antique and vintage dealer for years, and this was my work vehicle. This is what I carried all my stuff around in, and then when I got out of the business, I was trying to figure out what would I do with this? Then I started watching videos and seeing the van life and all that kind of stuff. I thought, it's a low roof, but I'm going to go with it. I don't spend all my time in there anyway. I call her Gypsy Pearl. I like having, like when I'm walking up from like when we're around the campfire. This is solar powered and I'm just going to keep it in the windshield so to charge while I'm driving. And I just added a battery to the back and I just put it up here. It's from Harbor Freight. Very inexpensive. I can't remember how much it was. It was less than $10. I just fold this back like this. I do this so that I can work it like a mosquito and during the day I leave these, my back doors open because my lights automatically shut off. These are tables. These are like end tables. Mm. And um, that's what my bed is on. And because they were oak and they were $15 for both of them, I couldn't buy the wood for that. It's, here's the plywood and then this is all, this is ratchet strapped through here just to hold everything down. And, um, I'm having, I've got to redo some things here. This, this is not working so great for me, but it, it's a process. Like I said, work it's, in progress, right? And the more you use it, the more you're like, oh, that's not going to work. Let me try this. Mm -hmm. And I use bungee cords to hold things in. Like, see, here's my little table. This is my, my toolbox and my, some emergency things. I was looking for, you know, those bedside tables you see everywhere at thrift stores. Usually mm -hmm. they're solid wood 99% of the time. And they just got at least two drawers in them and they're kind of low. That's what I was looking for. Cause I thought there I got, I'll have drawers and I'll have a base for my bed. And they're a little lower than these tables are. When I started looking for them, I couldn't find them. So I mm -hmm. found these and my nephew built this so that if I find what I'm looking for, he said, all I gotta do is unscrew some things and pull these out and pop them in there and screw them back down. So y'all come on in okay. and check out my little gypsy wagon. I have not insulated it. I have not, you know, done any of that. So you, magnets are my friend. <laughs> because I've got all this metal roof. Everything's on magnets. And this, these are just the little puck lights, you know, you can get, and they have a remote control. And I'm right here, so I can get in bed and turn off my lights. And uh, that's my bedside table. These have got those same lights in them, but they're just little, um, you know, silver plate, you know, those silver plate di serving dishes and stuff. And I took the tape, and it's that real thick tape I got at my drawer, I can show you in a minute. And I could still take them off, change the batteries, put them back in. And they have stayed up through the Alabama heat. They have stayed in there hanging up mm -hmm. and didn't fall off. And I just like the way it looks. And um, I just got them on some magnet hooks up there. Those are really strong magnet hooks. The Ford Transits had these big, thick styrofoam covers because that's where all the electrical is. And I decided to use it as a bulletin board. And those are my grandkids. These are just old Atlas maps that I've put up there with a little, again, magnets. And I had the, the down the road flashcard I had in the picture here. It just got a road and it's got the mountains. Mm. And so it's, it's hooked up there with magnets. And vintage field. This right here is in a little oil painting that I was helping a, a friend clean out a barn. And um, I found that little oil painting and I loved the, the stream. So I tucked it up there again with magnets. These are just silly little things. You know, those are just little old cuckoo clocks, but they don't work. Some people would not like this to be too cluttery for them, but I, I like this feel. I feel like I'm in a, like in a Cracker Barrel. Yes. <laughs> yes. Know, that's what's fascinating to sit around and look at everything. Yeah, yes. And these are just pieces of wood from, you know, from uh, old pieces of furniture. I just glued magnets on the back of them. The little Mexicans hung in my mother's car for years. I gave them to her years and years ago and they hung in her, her car window. And she has dementia now, so she can't drive or anything like that. So I've got them in here. Mm -hmm. This was my business. The Elizabeth Ann's was my business. And so I had to put her up there. That was my price tags and my business cards were, was the front. And she's from an old postcard. Um, my grandfather lost his mother when he was seven months old and the Spanish flu. So all he had of hers was a book of post postcards that she had collected from like 1905 to about 1915, mm -hmm. somewhere in there. She was in there and there was other pictures of people in there. We think she was the little sister of the others. They're my family, but I don't know who she is. Mm -hmm. We don't know for sure. So I'll just call her Lulu. But she, I, she had to come along, you know, I just, I've, I've, that's been my identity for so long. My little spice rack right there. 
those are little baby socks. Those are my grandkids and my daughter's socks. When baby, baby, the little tiny socks, when they grew out of them, I just cut the bottoms off and put them around those jars to help them keep them from rattling. A fun little thing that I, you know, that's got them with me. And my cousin built this and this. It's out of old molding, house moldings. Everything in here has been for a while just to make sure I'm going to like it the way it is before I permanently, nothing's going to be permanent except for my bed. But um, I think I'll just screw this down to here, to this piece of wood. And so it can just stay there. I'll still move those out when I travel. Obviously, this is not travel mode. I went simple, you know, I didn't I've been here for, I've been in here for four days and my little 240 Jackery still has 45% power on it. So yeah, it's just a little bitty 240 because nothing runs on power except for my phone and I charge my fans and these little fans from Walmart are $15. At least they were, who knows what they are now, but they charge USB charge and they've got these little legs that you can adjust and they will last. I used it all night and then part of the next night, I have two of them so I can swap them out. Or I can just plug them into my Jackery and just have them on all the time. But they're great. And they're from Walmart. And But I like these little legs. And that fits. that's a cup holder from Harbor Freight. And so I've just put it, I fold these up and slide it down in there and it stays put. Got a little hook on the top also. So if you want to hang it, you can. My bed is just, um, it's just the, you can see all my mess. My bed is just you know, wood, but that's just a, and the memory foam mattress that I ordered. I ordered the mattress that was, you know, in the little bag and we let it unroll in the, in the frame. <laughs> so I wouldn't have been able to wrestle this in here. Mm -hmm. We've got these little bump outs and I'm, I'm used to be five, nine. I'm probably about five, eight now, five, seven and a half, but that allows me to sleep this way. And I sleep, I can sleep stretched out. By okay. using the space, space where a window mm -hmm. would yeah. be. I might eventually insulate and do all of that. But this is working for me right now. In the winter time, if I go somewhere, I'll probably stay in a campground where I've done this. I've, I've camped in here in the upper 30s, but I was in a campground and I had electricity. So I ran a little ceramic electric heater. So that's dry heat. And I'm constantly checking from condensation mm -hmm. and I'm not finding it here. Now I'm not saying there's not any, you know, somewhere else. Cause this is the first time I've had a mattress like this in here. I had a mm -hmm. cot before and it ran this way and took up so much room. You know, so far it's working for me. I like it. I put this in here. That's, you know, my storage. I, that's my stove. This lip keeps it from flying out. I don't cook in here. I pull it out and cook in there. Yeah. Okay. So is this actually an antique yes. here? Well, it's probably about forties, 1940s. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, it's got the cabinet and these clothes. I put things here to keep it from opening, but I just keep, you know, my um, things in here. My drawers open up and there's another cabinet there. And I'll just, I just, my drawers work really well. It's crammed right now. I do know after this being here this long, there's some rearranging I need to do. This is this right here. <clears throat> That's my toilet. <laughs> it's also my bench. I wanted, it, I, had, I asked my nephew to build the box for me. He has all the tools. He has the knowledge. I think I could have done it, mm -hmm. but he had everything he needed. And I was more than happy to pay him a little bit to do it for me. And it's just, you know, I, this is where I store my stuff. I put a real toilet lid on it and I just have the bucket underneath. Mm -hmm. And it works great. And um, he screwed that in into the wood for me. Made sure it was good thick wood enough to hold that. What type of material do you use in your toilet, in your bucket? Um, I use the, the pine pellets, you know, like, uh, that you get from Harbor Freight, the horse bedding uh, pellets. But I also found, I, I recently read it somewhere. I saw it on YouTube, I'm sure. They're, they're the pads that go in the bedside toilets for when you have, you know, having to take care of an elderly person or, you know, your little bedside toilet you can have by your bed, you know, this on the frame. Mm -hmm. And there are little pads that go in there that when you urinate, it, it turns to gel like a diaper. Mm -hmm. And so I put those in there, depending on, usually you still have to use about one every time. You might can get by with two. It just depends on how much you go. <laughs> yeah. Or how much you drank. <laughs> how much you drank, exactly. <laughs> but then when I do other than that, um, I sprinkle the pellets on it. But mm -hmm. I, as soon as I do that, I wrap it up and pull it out and, you know, tie it off. Right. And look for a garbage can. If not, I think I'm going to get another bucket with a gamma lid on it. You know, the screw-on lids. Mm -hmm. That if I'm in a place that doesn't have garbage that I can throw out easily or quickly, I'll set it outside and put it in there, you know, and then get rid of it when I find a place that I can. I enjoy having this. It's, and it's, yes. you know, I strap it down when I'm traveling and stuff, but, um, it works great for me to be able to sit, you know, I can just about reach everything. This is just a piece of, of driftwood from, um, from Fort Morgan, Alabama, where, you know, and 
one of my favorite places to go. This this is my sink. It's just a uh, vintage enamel uh, uh, bowl and just the water dispenser. And of course, I got, again, all that comes down when I'm traveling. You know, if I get doing this more and more, then it might be something I want to do. I have a husband who, we've been married 42 years, and he is very encouraging of this. You know, he's, go do what you want to do. You know, my daughter, and she's like, mom, go. Okay. My husband's a retired police officer, so he's a little, little, you know, uh, can you, you know, he gets worried about some of the things that, you know, talk about camping out you know, like BLM land or something like that. So I keep telling him that's something I want to do. And he's like, oh, I don't know. He doesn't like the idea of me being out there by myself. But he is comfortable with the fact that I can pull away. I think somebody would be pretty crazy yes. to come here with a, this many women exactly. in vans. Yes. And we got stuff in here. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> we got yeah. stuff. Yes, we do. And then, you know, I keep my key over here. I have a, a hook and I keep my, my van key. I keep both of my sets of keys, but I keep my van key here so I I could hit my you know my panic button you mm -hmm. know on my van on my my alarm thing on my van. I'm cautious. I pay attention to what, my surroundings. If I'm uncomfortable, I'm not going to stop there. Even at a gas station on the way here, I need to go to the bathroom. I pulled. I was like, mm, nope, and I pulled. On, you know, went to another one. Isn't it amazing how we know mm -hmm. sometimes. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you can't even say, well, that person looks sketchy mm -hmm. or something or other, mm -hmm. and you don't know why. It's yes. just you just know. Just go with your gut instincts. You've got every not just this. Your whole life, you need to deal. Everything you do in your life, you need to go with those instincts. Mm -hmm. That's why we have them. Yeah. And just to trust those instincts. Sometimes it might work out. Sometimes you might have been wrong, but I'd rather be I'd rather, wrong. Yeah, I'd rather be wrong than <laughs> to not do it and not go against my instincts and find out that I should have. And so, um, but I enjoy it. I just, it's just something I enjoy doing. It gives me a chance to, I enjoy being by myself some. I'm not a person that uh, has to be around people all the time. But I enjoy being around people. Like, you know, last night at the campfire when we were all sitting around the campfire, I was, that was wonderful. And, uh, but I also enjoy being by myself too. I'm comfortable by myself. You know, I didn't cost very much money at mm -hmm. all. Uh, the most expensive thing was probably the wood for the bed, but most of this stuff was done with scrap between what I had and what my nephew had. And um, these rag rugs came from five below for $5 a piece. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I had, I bought this in a place in Oklahoma and uh, I bought, you know, these were my cousins. And these are just shears that I've got back there, but I keep them close together. And they work great to keep bugs. And I've got magnets on the side just to kind of close them down. Mm -hmm. And I'm able, I don't, I've never slept with them open, but I like it to have this open and this open and to get that breeze going. And I leave it open most of the days. So you need to be okay with your own thoughts. Mm -hmm. You know, some people don't want all that going on, you know, because when I'm alone, my brain's running more because I'm, you know, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Something's happening in there. Yeah, something's going on. <laughs> but, um... You know, so they, you know, I, I'm fine with that. And then I'm also comfortable around people. And, and I think a good mix of that is, is what life is good about. You know, do that for life. You, you can, you can be alone and you can be with people. So that makes life a lot easier, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and I know everybody can't and no judgment on that. It's just, it's my personality. Yeah. Um, I really respect the women that have to overcome anxiety yes. to do this. I have yes. so much. I think they are the bravest Absolutely. ones. Absolutely. I have a hard time understanding it, but, but, you know, we, I get that anxious like we all do, you know, something new, you get a little anxious, but I, I do, I'm just, I'm like you, those people who have overcome that to do this is incredible. And I'm hoping doing this is helping that anxiety for them. Yeah. To you know, see that it's possible that in it's so possible. many different types mm -hmm. of women right. and they love it. Mm -hmm. And you've got to do, you know, my neighbor here on this side, she was just in a, a, a truck camper, not a camper, but a shell and her dog. And she, that's how she lives. But that's what she loves. Is yeah. she, she, per, is she full time? Yes, she's full time. <gasps> I yes. wonder if she's left yet. She's already left. It was oh. Debbie right next to her. And she, she was delightful. She was, she was just fun. And she's the one who was singing last night. One of the ones that was singing last oh, night. Oh, they were so great. Yes, they were. And she has a dog, Nellie, that's the biggest sweetheart ever, big old teddy bear. And that's how she lives. She says she loves it. She's, she, that everything she owns is in that truck. Mm -hmm. And she says she loves it that way and she enjoys it. And so, you yeah, know, that's what I mean. You have that and then we have people in big, beautiful, you know, professional built bit rigs. And then you got my little gypsy wagon and you got mm -hmm. minivans. And I want to start hiking, but I've got to, um, uh, I, you know, I've got to get me some shoes that I feel comfortable with and I'll need a stick because my knees are, are kind of bad. So 
I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel strong enough stepping up onto something or something like that. I'm hoping that will increase the more I do. It will. And, and I've done it. Yes. And you were talking about Danny, you know, mm -hmm. uh, living free with you and me living free. Yes. Um, I watch her also. Mm -hmm. She encouraged me and I've, I've told her in the comments how much she has because I'm a big woman and I've let my size keep me from doing something because of concerned how I would look doing it. Mm -hmm. Me you too. Know? Me too. You know, I'm like, oh, she's that big gonna go, oh my gosh, what's she doing? <laughs> you know, but then I'm I'm starting to get over that. You know. You but know? don't you have respect for someone to see them out there trying Yes, oh and, and Danny encouraged me. She said, if you can't walk the whole trail, stop and rest. And that's what I thought, you know, yeah, I can stop and rest and then move a little bit more, a little bit more, or turn around if I need to. But I'm moving. Have you ever tried walking sticks, the two of them? I'm going to get those. Did you I see my that, video on that? Travel Grandma was demonstrating that. I'll have to get that. I'll have to watch it. I don't yeah. think I have. I'll have to. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's it's on my channel, mm -hmm. but she's mm -hmm. doing it. It's when we were mm -hmm. in the uh, Redwood Forest. Oh, okay. I okay. don't remember if it was on the Redwood video. Probably not. Okay, I'll Probably find it. On it. Yeah. 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 yeah, we've been married 42 years, so, you yeah. know. Yeah, you need some alone time. Yeah. I got married when I was 19, so, you yeah. know. And, um, and I'm very thankful I have him that, that he under that he understands my desire and doesn't feel slighted by it or like I'm tr you know I'm trying to get away from him or anything like that. He, can you explain that desire to get out? Um, I I kind of can, but I kind of can't. Um, it I think it's just having a little bit of an adventure, you know, and to prove to myself that I can do things on my own. Yeah. And um, I think that um, I have the desire to do to be out in nature and to do this. I'm 61. I'll be 62 in June of 23. And I found myself sitting too much and I did not want to do that. I've watched other people do that and just go quickly, go downhill quickly. And, um, I think it keeps our brain because we constantly, you know, when you're doing this, you constantly have to be thinking, you know, and, um, I'm it's sure a challenge. You, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm sure you do because you're full time. And so you constantly have to think things through mm -hmm. and, um, I don't have a TV. I do have my iPad and have my phone and I will, I'm not going to say I'm not going to sit and watch it, but my favorite thing to do in the evenings is to sit back. If I'm not reading a book is to watch YouTube channels. If I got enough coverage, I'll download some before I leave home where I have Wi-Fi. I'll download some movies sometimes to my iPad. I think it's just a desire to, to have a little bit of an adventure. You know, it's, it's wonderful. I think that's what makes us so much fun to get together.